<laughs> Testing one, two, three. Are we live? We're live. You are live. We are live. I've got a story to tell you guys what happened to me on Friday. And uh, I guess we're still here. So no one won the uh, million dollars, huh? Yeah, we still would have been here. Where's Eric? I've been here. Where's Eric? Been every day. I'll be live. All Eric night. is gone. He might have won too. Right. <laughs> I just be in right. a sauna full of money. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stand by, everybody. Hold on. The ongoing series about the life of the people touched by the love of the Pacific. Here are their stories. This is Highway 54. Happy Sunday, everybody. It is the last Sunday of the month, actually. Wow. He was in the intro. Did you hear him? What? That was Cabbage Patch and with it, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like your shirt, man. Is that a living color shirt? Uh, kind of, sort of, not really. Oh, same, same font style, but it says I'm living unapologetically black and brown. Oh, you don't see. like my shirt, Floyd? Huh? I, I can't see your shirt. It says not today, Karen. Not <laughs> today. Emotional. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Anthony, what what you got on? Uh, just my out of office shirt. One of the Ooh. new. Ones. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> But yeah. this one is a was a tester one to see if a QR code is actually scannable for yeah. fabric. So, oh, nice! What up, D Money? What up, Unique? That's actually pretty pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. You guys see my shirt? Out of office is basically uh, saying, you know, face. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that the best buy shirt? I mean, that's a block block buster. <laughs> yeah, Blockbuster or Alamo? Blockbuster. Oh, okay. It looks look, look like Alamo. That's dope. Nice. Floyd trying to I show do. a nipple ring. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I do a lot of things, but I don't do that. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. I showed up. People doing their balls and stuff like that. Like, you know, oh. what? Or look like cows and they put. Oh, mm. on their nose. Oh, okay. Mm. Ouch. Yeah. Well, I guess we're still here. Uh, nobody won the one million dollars or one billion dollars or one uh, even a million. I, I mean, I'll still show up. Yeah. I've so a guy one. or a guy, somebody in Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, won <laughs> one point three hundred thirty-seven billion. You still using that ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mom, Mega if you're million. watching, I told them about the Illinois thing. Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois area. What's going on, Jamie? 
Jimmy Ramos, uh, my homeboy. <laughs> so, <laughs> would would you take would you take the lump sum or you take the twenty nine years? Twenty nine years. I'm taking twenty nine years because I'm passing it down. I mean, we talk about generational wealth now. Now we got a chance to do it. That's Cadillac. about forty six million a year, pretty much. I'll take it. I'll oh. take it. You tell people that I played sports to get that money. <laughs> or, or you take the lump sum of seven hundred eighty million dollars lump sum. Hmm. Do you, do you want to know the odds of winning this jackpot? Yeah. What's the odds? One in three hundred two million. So, I got the odds. Y'all, so y'all got questions, right? So, Anthony, I want to ask you this. Yeah. In large sums of money like that, you know, banks are only insured up to what a hundred thousand. So what? How do you how do you keep that money? How how is it saved? Uh, that's a good question. Um, that one I might have to get back to you on that one, because uh, when it comes to banks and like high rollers and thinking about people who buy a lot of real estate, especially in a million dollar, yeah. close to like the DC arena, yeah, um, you got to take those chances. Most of my FDI insured up to two hundred fifty thousand. That's yeah. about it. Um, to get a higher insurance, obviously, you just got to find other liabilities or just split it up amongst different banks, depending on how you feel. Um, but what most people normally do is just put in the trust. <laughs> just let the trust deal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My sister said in a mason jar out back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big mason jar, right? Yeah. No, but but let's be, let's be honest. If you won, if you actually won, would, what would the first thing you would do? Balance too, balance. To, to be completely honest with you, pass out. First thing I would do is, I would I would take my phone, I would copy certain numbers, and then the rest of the rest of the phone I would throw it away somewhere. I would get rid of it. Uh-huh. But there's, there's certain numbers as far as my my inner circle and family members or whatever like that that I talk to on a regular basis. Uh-huh. You know, I would reach out to them instead of them reaching out to me. You know, so if I consider them my inner circle, then um, then. They know that I would get in touch with them one way or another, and I would probably call them from an island or something like that too. Yeah. On a secure, secure land. Secure. I would leave. I would leave the state. <laughs> I'd be overseas, probably, probably most likely Japan or Tokyo or, or Philippines, and I'll just chill out for a while. I'll probably I'll pay my bills first. I'll pay off all my bills and all my loans. Mom and dad and everybody else they'll get theirs, but I want to chill out for a second. Everybody else, go count your bills. Tell me what you need, <laughs> right? And then kind of figure out, right? Uh, probably, I'll probably get with Anthony. Say, okay, want to figure out? Everybody got trust fund, kids, everybody, school. Blah, 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 man. Well, one of the things is that you can do is set up, um, set up the trust to be the person that actually wins, be be the entity that actually won the lottery. So the money will never come to you directly, and then you can have the trust pay you. That's another uh, option. Yeah. Oh. So in other words, it looks like that you never won it. I don't know. And then you just happen to get a paycheck. <laughs> that's, that's mailbox that's, money. Yeah. And and what is the, the benefit of doing that? Uh one is that the trust is can be passed down passed down to your family. Oh and also the trust could actually own your businesses or anything like that. It can even own your house. So Anything happens to you, the house doesn't have to go through, like, um, I forgot what it's called, but at the, it doesn't have to go to probate. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. everything would just go directly to the trust, and then the trust already knows, uh, has all the instructions that you want it to do. Hmm. But you would be the, like, the president or the, 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 yep. the, the leader of the trust. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Or you can have a trust that owns a trust. I mean, you can just go down a rabbit hole if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. So you can never get sued personally, pretty yep. much. <laughs> oh, she. I think that's how rich rich folks actually keep the money within house too. Exactly. They have trust that, that go directly either from them or trust they would go to one of their kids or some other family member or something like that too. So anything yeah. jump off of and whatever, and then it just it just trickles down to the, the very next person. Still in, think, the- um, in there, I think you can give it instructions to say, "Hey, this child isn't." Um, able to get this money until they turn 18, then they can open up to a wider range of money. And then as they get, you're talking about millions upon millions here. So if you're looking at like 
yeah, you don't get access to like three hundred thousand until you get to, you know, thirty five. Then it mm. opens up. We'll pay you on an annual basis at the, that point. Wow. Sure. Wow. Well, I wonder who's gonna, who's gonna win. Uh, I want. I wonder if they're gonna claim it and what are they doing right now. I mean, it's Friday, so today is Sunday. They gotta be in their mind, or the person forgot they bought it. And here, one of those. We hear one of those people like they lost the ticket. Ooh, oh man, bro. bro! They lost. They lost their ticket and they couldn't find it. And like they won like a couple million dollars. Oh man! All right, Ooh. so I'm looking at the back of my lottery ticket. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they say that you have 182 days of the oh, draw wow. to actually claim it. Do you have to be so, in person to say? Uh, depending on your state. Because oh. you can actually, some states allow you to use the lawyers. The lawyers can go out there on your behalf to pick up the check. Yeah. Um, you just got to know what states you're in. Oh, I'm, I'm going in costume. I'm not showing my face, but I'll be up there in costume. <laughs> Maybe like a Power Ranger or something. <laughs> it's more dress, up, dress, up, dress up like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Get a voice changer and everything. I they know. were like, who recently bought a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Yeah. In the summertime. In the summertime. <laughs> about, to, about to pass out. Somebody's going to call you out on that. Right. <laughs> yeah. call you it's going to tell it. Mm-mm. Yep. Well, I'm still here. Even if I won the money, I'd, I'd probably I'd go, I'll come back to the podcast. But but, yeah. can't, but can't you uh, decide whether you want to have a um, some type of announcement or some some the news know about it? You can you can still be anonymous regardless. Mm-hmm. Well, that it depends on the state. Oh. Yeah, because it's, me- it's yeah. mega millions, all 48 states, but each state has their own rules of like how to how to accept it. So. Mm-hmm. Now in California, I ain't, I ain't showing up. Look that. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, D3, uh, we've got a good good two topics uh, today at the end here, but uh, we've got our most famous uh, segment called I've Got Questions. D3, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right. Well, um, two days ago, I was I was thinking about some things. I didn't tell my wife about it, but I was thinking about some things, um, and it just reminded me of a fact that when I was when I was really really little, my mother would tell me that I was just running around the house overly active and stuff like that too. So to calm me down, what they would do was turn on the TV, and I would stop in my tracks and look at commercials. I guess that was kind of foreshadowing to what I'm doing right now as far as media and entertaining and stuff like that, too. <clears throat> so it, it made me think. It got me to thinking. When you were not knocking over your beer like I just did, when you were actually, when you were smaller, if you were a child of the 70s and you were growing up, what was one thing? that actually would stop you in your tracks as far as television or any other media was concerned to where you would actually memorize or try to recite. Me personally, it was schoolhouse rock. So my question is, if you were born in the 70s, what was it that you used to listen to that no matter what type of day you were having, you could actually recite that and feel better about yourself? If you were born in the 80s, what was your favorite, not jingle, but what was your favorite cassette tape that would make you feel better about your situation? You were born in the 90s. What was your favorite music video that made you feel better about you and your situation? And if you were born in the 2000s, what was your favorite streaming service to get music from, whether it be BearShare, LimeWire, anything? I'm D3. And I'm all in your business. I got questions. That's actually a good question. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, born in the seventies, uh, there was a song that I actually always liked. TV show, 
and it goes something a little like this uh butterfly in the sky i can go <laughs> twice as high take a look it's in a book a reading rainbow <laughs> i can go anywhere <laughs> friends to know ways to grow anyways a reading, a reading rainbow <laughs> All the time. I love the and, and I, uh, I grew up. I grew up. Uh, I remember we had a brown station wagon. You know the one with the wood, the oh. wood sidings. Yeah, we had yeah, a we blue call, one. We called it the Griswold Mobile. Woo! That sucker was a tank. And I, I remember specifically <laughs> not using seatbelts in the back with these hot, fuck it, or cold, uh, pleather leather, you know, seats. And I remember we are family. Hey, 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 uh. <laughs> na, 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 sister in me, I forgot. Anyways, uh, I remember that song. I got my sister. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Anthony? Were you born in eighties? Yeah, I'm eighties baby. Eighties baby. But I would say that uh, most of the time to kind of get away from everything. So we talking about music, but TV shows. It could be a TV show or a cassette, or you know, D- DVDs and CDs weren't that prevalent, right? Because one of the things that, um, being the '80s baby, my grandmother always had the almanac. I mean, not the almanac, the Encyclopedia uh, Plus series. Oh, the brown, the brown ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a uh, Britannica's. It was the. It was the. Uh, oh, yeah, it was like the reddish brown. Sometimes remember colors, <laughs> but it was um. So that's why I usually do. I used to read those and just kind of get lost and get away from you know reality at the time. Farm girl, yeah. hey. True, true that, Jamie. <laughs> true that. He said a seventy theme show, like a good times. Good uh, times. I got one that might mess y'all's head up. Y'all remember this one? Since we were talking about the lottery and everything. Did you cut off Anthony? Nope. Oh, did I, did I cut you? oh no, that's that was uh what you were talking about, and then you talked about streaming services. I was oh. like, well, you're trying to get this incriminated, but I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I ain't got it. Elite <laughs> <laughs> Torrents. Yeah, I was on a. Uh, yeah, I, I was on LimeWire like crazy. Oh yeah. That's when you got your first. Uh, is that bi- oh, bi- LimeWire, BearShare, Napster, whatever, whatever yeah. stream. Oh, yeah. Um, what's the other? Always, like, always put me in a good mood was um, Zap and Roger, Roger and Zap. Yeah. Hey, lady. Always. Like, be if man. that song ever comes up, I always got to stop, listen to it, Uh-oh. or sing it, you know. Ain't, it's ain't no stopping us now for me. Ain't no stopping us? Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about that. Yeah. Hey, but, but on the same lines as that, I remember uh, since I know in Salisbury, I get a lot of flack for being on the east side, but I used to get my hair cut at Perry and Gates Barbershop on the west side. And we used to ride Mr. Gates. He also not only was a barber, he was, uh, no, Mary and Perry. Yeah, he was also a barber and a bus driver. So yeah. he would drive the bus, and no matter what, he would always play either Double Dutch Bus, uh. either Double Dutch Bus, or Yarborough and Peoples Don't Stop the Music. Ooh. So, Get them song right. I feel like that little kid in first grade just bouncing back and forth. Don't know why you're bouncing. You're just bouncing back and forth. Yeah. Or in almost any Shaka Khan song. Oh. Oh, yeah. Shaka. That is yeah. I feel for you. Oh, oh. man. Oh. Did you just I was a popper. I was a popper. Wasn't much of a breaker, but I could pop. Pop lock. Okay. Oh. King oh. Tut. Okay. Like, like this. Like that. <laughs> 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 All right, Coach Andy, you ready? I am ready. All right. All right. So, happy Sunday, everybody. Um, so, I'm going to read a little bit from this simple startup guide which I thought was actually pretty entertaining in a way to kind of help you start a business. So for those of you who would like to get your own, 
This is actually like a teacher's guide for starting a business. So if you want to go out there and teach people how to start a business or you have a course that's coming up and you just want to get the cheat sheet, this is the book. But the reason why I'm talking about businesses is because none of us talked a lot about how to provide and start saving your money, start growing your money and protecting your money. But now let's go on and try to invest your money, which is investing in yourself, taking yourself to the next level. So one of the small segments on here, which I thought was actually pretty interesting, is coming up with business ideas. When it comes to generate business ideas, most will find it difficult at first. This is something we can get better at. The most, the more you practice, uh, the more you practice it. Many people find that after they go through the process in coming up with business ideas, they often start seeing more and more opportunities every day. Make sure you have a place to record business ideas, whether on paper or a digital device. Now, the cool thing when it comes up to business ideas, if you think about it, a business is solving a problem. The way you solve a problem is to first figure out what is the problem? What is the customer? What is something that you are having problems with? And be like, man, I wish something like that was closer to where I live. Or man, I wish that was something that's available for my demographic. You have those ideas. Everybody has a spin to the same idea. And remember, it's okay to copy and paste. Just make sure you modify it and make it your own. So I got. Man, I got. Do you guys have like a book of ideals? Like a thought, a thought journal. And you just write down ideals or like, like make a cape, make a new soap. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, new franchise. No, I don't know. I, I, I have a book of just ideals of like things I thought in my mind. And rather than oh, you do. I got a bunch of I got a bunch of post notes laying around. Oh, yeah. I need to do that because there's certain things that I want to do, but I just have a, I actually have a dry erase board of certain things that, mm -hmm. that are more short term right now. So I just check those off each time. And if I, if I'm really confident, cause you know, what you put out there in the universe is what you get back. Mm -hmm. So I just, yeah. some stuff like, okay, I will do that. That will happen. So I check it off early. I use a notepad. I use notepad um, on my phone. On the phone. And just mm -hmm. write down ideals, uh, mm -hmm. uh, websites, you know, uh, franchises, whatever. Oh, so create mm -hmm. YouTube. They just go back into ideas. Or I take take uh, what do you call it the uh, snapshots, screenshots of the different things. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I, said, I think if I if I won that 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 billion, I would do. I would encourage entrepreneurship, and I wouldn't run necessarily uh, these businesses, but I'd help people. You know, fund it. You know, and I, I get like you know forty percent or whatever it is, and mm -hmm. they get sixty percent. So. Uh, angel investor, mm. an angel investor. Yeah, I mean, there's not enough people out there doing angel investors. <laughs> All right, we got a new segment here. It's not really a new segment. We've done this before, but uh, it's actually more, um, more, more uh, official now. We're gonna react. Uh, I, th I think it was Anthony that sent me this. A woman responds to critics about uh, who think her husband should be with someone thinner than herself. Uh, she is a TikToker influencer. And uh, she was on GMA recently. Hold on. All right. By beauty standards, we don't make sense. The world looks at us and immediately values Scott more than me. Damn, that was kind of big, actually. These comments were nothing about me or my humor or my platform, and they were all about the differences in but, husbands. But you put yourself yeah. out there. And just valuing me and my relationship. And Expect my it, right? Him down to something as simple as my size and his size. How sad is it that someone believes? He looks too bougie. In a relationship, 
to be so how they look and when she approached it in that way as you should be with somebody who looks like me um it was just basically the exact same thing that i have unlearned my entire life i have unlearned that my value in my relationship with oh my, my goodness with my body i spent many years feeling like well worthy of many things okay happiness a great career the love for my partner scott has been my partner since we were 15 years old his love has never changed for me how i've allowed him to love me has to realize that how i felt about myself directly impacted him okay I, I, I changed my mind i pushed him away for so many years <laughs> feel silly forever loving me and i'm very she's happy. actually working on i think anthony said that so she is actually that's not a fun place for anyone yeah. to be especially not wanting to love somebody so deep she's got muscle under there realizing mm -hmm. how lovable and important they yeah, are I mean, dude he looks dry i think he he cut weight or something like that ends of the spectrum when realistically taking a step back and realizing that your body has zero impact on who yeah, you okay. are and what you're you're capable now of now looking at her now so freeing um as a she is being. big but so she's we can help the younger generations just not she got muscles learn in it there. so that they don't have to unlearn it i mean even if she doesn't that doesn't make her a bad person yeah it doesn't make her a bad person and if she wants to put her stuff on social media whatever that's what social media is for I mean, people say if you put it on social media, expect the backlash and blah, 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 blah. But still, it's like, I mean, she's just, some people want to uh, be able to do what other people are doing. You know what I mean? Or or she just want to just put it out there or whatever because she loves her man or I don't know what's going through her head. But um, at the end of the day, if you look at it a couple of different ways, she, she has a right to, uh, to to put stuff out there. But I mean, people that go after you and, and troll you and stuff like that because of your weight, I mean, I think that's uh, pretty shallow. Yeah, yeah. I got I a mean, problem with a lot of it, uh, but, but go ahead. No, I, I yeah, I mean, uh, I, you know, I, I'll make my, I, I'll, I'll fess up to my mistake. At first, I, I'm pr pretty much like what everybody else, like, whoa, you know, there's a way big difference between your husband and yourself. and. But as you, as she's talking, and she's you see her working out, and you see kind of her body build. Like, oh, okay, I can see that. You know, she's actually she has muscles in there. It's just that, like, I, like, I, unfortunately, I don't have the 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 experience where like, oh, I I need to lose weight, and my body can't lose weight, no matter how much diet, working out, eat, whatever. It just happens that I'm this size. So she's at that that moment, but. She could try a little harder. I mean, she could try, look like a lot of water weight more than anything. But you never know her trials and tribulations. She didn't put her whole like medical history on there, and yeah. she should have to for people to wonder why she is the size that she is. I yeah, mean, yeah. It, it, there could be so many different things that happened to her in her past. I mean, gotcha. along with like anxiety, depression, and I mean, I know I've had my bout with that, and um, still struggle at times. But I mean, just because she's big it still doesn't you know mean that she can't have whoever she want to have and especially if he's treating her she's treating him right he's treating her right and they yeah. love each other. i mean i don't see a problem with it yeah but you would think like remember i told you the story i went to baltimore like a stopover so we're deployed we're deployed we're yeah i told you the story we deployed uh we're deploying and then we stopped in baltimore one day and we went out to the strip clubs and then there was one club they call it the one ton club i don't know if it's still around anyways but oh. yeah they're like skinny guys like my size and they're big big women so what i'm getting at is there are some guys who like big big women like they fantasize about with bigger women the bigger they are the better for them they, they like that so my, my problem with the whole thing is Number one, it's her fault if she let those shallow people mm -hmm. determine whether her relationship is worthy or not, number one. Number two, I understand that they were together since they were 15 years old. But at yeah. the same time, those same people that don't want her to be with him probably want them for themselves. Male oh, yeah. Them. So that's, that's, that's another issue. Number three, 
she don't need validation from nobody. Mm. The only validation she needs is that her husband is going to be there for her. Yeah. And not everybody's going to be happy with you being successful or you being happy. Yeah. So if she put it out there on social media, it's going to be her fault if she listened to what them people who actually have no bearing in her life, if she listened to what they say, that's all, that's on her. That's her fault. Yeah. She'll be happy in the skin that she's in. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what she got to do. But not everything is, is for social media. Because those people that, that are commenting, they, they're not going to talk to you face to face. And if they do talk to you face to face, they ain't saying the stuff that they typing. So they're irrelevant. And but they again, can't, they can't stand to see her happy and yeah, they're probably not. Yes, we live in a we live in a shallow society. Mm -hmm. And who in the hell are you to tell me who I need to be with in the first place? Mm -hmm. What you ain't finna do is dictate what's going on in my household. If you have you don't pay no bills, you don't do none of that. So mm -hmm. so so your your opinion is completely irrelevant. Bars. Yeah. But I, I hear that. But you're on TikTok. You're you're trying to be an influencer, so you want the feedback. You want that social media. You want the commenting because that messes with your algorithm and blah blah blah. So she's gonna have to learn that she's trending. You know, yeah, she's trending right now, whether it be bad or good. So That's actually, and she's on GMA. GMA yeah. just highlighted her 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 account. So that's, she's actually winning, but that's that's from an analytical standpoint. Yeah, from the, from the analytics of of that platform, but from a mental standpoint, she has to she has to have a better filter than that. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. or or she's gonna have sleepless nights and she's gonna be questioning herself, and that's not fair to her or her husband. That's not right. True, true. She has to filter all that stuff out and just take it as it is, because emotions don't fix anything. Yeah. So she can't let them make her emotional. Anthony, she, uh, is that vinegar? What is that? I'm sorry. Oh, this is uh, my alcoholic beverage with frozen uh, fruit in there. He said my alcoholic beverage. <laughs> 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 alcoholic beverage with a uh, shaking that <laughs> <shaking, laughs> <not> third <laughs> with a twist. <laughs> what, what was that called? At first, I thought it was vinegar, the little thing or whatever. It was. Oh, yeah. Might not so, be um, yeah. Going back to she, she said in the beginning, um, and it kind of kind of hit me. And the world looks at us and immediately values Scott more than me. To be completely honest with you, if she was the same size as him or slimmer, they would still value Scott more than her. Women catch hell regardless, because they can apply for the same job just because he's a dude with a beard too. Oh man, oh yeah, he's gonna but get a tall, a tall, tall white guy and tall. Yeah, you can get a raise regardless. So it's not it's not the fact that her size has anything to do with it. It's the fact of her gender alone. And there's a, sh a tight short sleeves. Yeah. Yeah. That's the society we live in. But at the same time, you still got to do you. You just got to shine. If, if people don't don't get it, that's on them. That's their loss. I'm, mm -hmm. bro. I'm, I'm I'm gonna make yeah, my, I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah, I don't have time to be on I'm, social media and worry about people. Yeah, I got responsibilities. Yeah. I well, I, I think it's like um, it's kind of a good and bad thing. She's been highlighted. She's on GMA. People on Yahoo, Google are Googling her now. She probably got a, a couple more more follows on her TikTok. So she might mess around and be like some other uh, full body women and be on the cover of Sports there Illustrated. People. There you go. There and you they go. probably do it just one time. Yeah, let them keep hating. Yeah, she won't shine I'll, regardless, but she just got to filter that mess yeah. out. I'll, I'll like take that. Ten ten thousand dollar bonus fee, talent fee. Oh. All right, topic of the day. Here you go. Hold on. <laughs> topic of the day is how a good woman makes a man better. You know what? Um, in recent in a recent study, the scientists measured that the heart rates of 32 couples who stared at each other for three minutes without touching or speaking. The result: close companions showed similar heart rate patterns and breathed in and out around the same time. What's more, when the participants swapped partners, fun, heart rates and breathing patterns didn't match anymore. That's true. I mean, look at you and D3. How how, how long have you guys been together? You mean as far as married or dating? 
Uh, all, all together, yeah. Married and dating. Since 2016? 2016? Is that 16, 17, 18, 18, 20? Yeah, 2016. So eight years? Seven years? Six. Six years? Do you guys start looking alike? Did you ever like, notice that? When couples are together, they start walking together, same pattern, looking alike. I haven't seen Anthony's wife, but I'm sure they, they look. You guys been together for a while, Anthony? Uh, as see. long as we have, pretty much. You, yeah, you 20, before, right? 2016 is when we got together. Oh, same time, same time. Do you guys feel like you guys kind of like almost the same person? Uh, no, we still complete opposites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, because I like going out. She'd rather stay home. I don't mind being around a lot of people. She'd rather be by herself or like one on one hanging out. Or like, if it's double dates, she doesn't like any additional. But so we out it. How it goes. Yeah. For me, I could know everybody in the venue. So I'll have a great time. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So I, I think, uh, but do you guys agree that a woman. A good woman makes a man better. A good man makes a woman good. Uh, makes a woman better too. Both both ways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fifty fifty. Yeah, there's a study that says in a British journal that men are usually in their best behavior when the woman they love are next to them or watching. You know, one thing I heard too was <laughs> the, the the measure of a man is how he acts when he has everything, yeah. and the measure of a woman is how she acts when she has nothing. Uh, I read that and I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's kind of deep. So if you have a woman who's willing to give up everything to be with a guy who has everything, yeah, you can't do nothing but compliment each other. And that's, that's true. That's the tough part finding that one. Or you might yeah. be like uh, the guy and the girl that, that we talked about what a couple of episodes ago yeah. about uh, him buying food for his, uh, for his son and not for the rest of the kids. So not Emotional, damn it! Not, every, not, every, yeah. not everybody's compatible. Yeah, not everybody's compatible. Now they also say that uh, once you're in sync with your partner, they are in twenty percent of your dreams. The ones that the dreams you can remember, or the ones you don't. Remember? <laughs> the ones you choose not to talk about. They should be most in. They should be most <laughs> in your dreams. I don't know. Maybe more than twenty percent. Ah. I, know, I, I would say I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. You be dreaming about Carla? I don't know what I'll be drinking. He be, he about be laughing. He must be dreaming about me because he hey. be laughing all the time. <laughs> yeah. Trying to shake those cobwebs in the morning. I'm like, man, I, do I really need this job? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rose, this is a true story. Rose slapped me one night when I was sleeping. Oh. And she woke me up. I go, what the fuck? What the fuck? He goes. I was dreaming you're cheating on me. Emotional. <laughs> she was dreaming that you cheated on her. Yeah, so she slapped me in the face. That doesn't make sense. She was dreaming that, so why did she slap herself? I don't know, man. So it was a nat. It was a, she said sorry because it was a natural reaction. Because she woke up, she thought it was real. She slapped me in the face. Nah, fuck that. She was waiting for me. She was just <laughs> she waiting for me to fall asleep. She slapped me in the face. No, that was payback for something you did that you made a joke about <laughs> earlier. She didn't think it was funny. She caught you. She caught you slipping. Yeah. I saw I saw a meme that said, uh, I got jumped in my sleep. I need all my cousins to go to sleep right now. Yeah. <laughs> big shout out to uh big shout out to uh C D Brown and the <laughs> <laughs> him, and, him and Cadillac Chris. Y'all go to sleep. Somebody jump me. I'm gonna let y'all know I'm gonna go ooty hoo. <laughs> Like, like a Freddy Krueger movie. Yeah, for real. Yep. <laughs> um, they also oh, there's also a study that says there how a woman makes a man better. Uh, emotionally, they're more stable with a, with a, the woman um, there to uh, fix their problems or if they're stressed out. Is that true? To me, kinda yes and no. One of the things that I learned being in a relationship is that she might tell me something, but that don't mean she want me to fix it. And men, we're we're fixers. We try to fix things and try to appease, but that's most times just for her. She just want to get it off her chest, and we're like, okay, so what you want me to do? Nothing. And then we're thinking, oh, what you tell me for? 
you just trying to get it off the chest. So now yeah. some stuff are just like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Did you, Carla, you, you can tell me if I'm wrong with this. I think that men are less talkative about their day than the women are. Absolutely, yeah. For example, hey, uh, D3, uh, so how was your day? Oh, I had a flat tire. Yeah, because I, I ask him every day pretty much when he comes home from work because I work from home. Tire. So I ask him, um, babe, how was your day? Eh, I'm putting out little, you know, little fires here, little fires there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you some, know. <laughs> some, yeah, some of the stuff I, I can't talk about, some of the stuff I don't yeah. want to talk about. I'm like, oh. okay, so the reverse, the reverse. Hey, Carla, so how was your day? It depends. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, oh, go ahead. Say, go ahead. Let, me, let, me, let me get in the character real quick. Okay, you ready? <laughs> and scene. This boop had the audacity <laughs> to tell me. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know who she think I am. That ain't my job description. I ain't doing that. Yeah. Guess what? Your son did. Boop, 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 boop. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And she was wearing these shoes. They're pretty nice shoes, actually. I bought these at uh, Payless the other day. Anyways, that despite the fact, look. <laughs> I think we should do this again. <laughs> we should do this to the house. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. I'm like, yeah. okay, okay. Baby, okay. I cuss a lot. No, I'm just saying, boop, 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 because I didn't want to get into detail. But <laughs> oh, okay. Some of it's curse words, but some of it is, is rather uh, it's, it's rather generic. But yeah, it's, yeah. It's, not, it's not super duper flamboyant or nothing like that, but. Are, are, are we agreeing, Anthony, or are you the reverse? Are you more detailed about your day, or as your wife is? Uh, because I can't talk about my work, um, so I just kind of say like the drive was nice or bad, and then I was just say, like <laughs> I was feeling throughout the day, like you no, know, I just feel like I just need a break, or um, you know, I just need some. I need my first thirty minutes to an hour before we kind of chat, and if we do chat, it's just kind of like. You know, light stuff. What's happening on TV? What we got playing yeah, yeah. right now? So, I try not yeah. to talk about work when I get home. Yeah, he doesn't. I can't talk about work, so I mean, <laughs> it's really about how you feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a couple of weeks ago, I had a bad day, and I, I, I just had to tell her about it because I worked my nerves without getting into the details or whatever. Yeah. She's like, "Oh, okay." Wow. Yeah, my. I mean, my my new new wife, soon to be. Who doesn't know? And she's very, she just very wants to know everything about me. And I, trust me, I want to tell her everything. But like, I'm, I'm a guy. I, I like, like I said, I bought a flat tire. I fixed it, went home, got it, you know, blah, blah, blah. There was, was there more to talk about? And I, I'm kind of like Anthony too. Like, there's certain things that I, I get home with, like, uh, I just want to decompress, right? And all that. But like, like I said, I, I, I believe, you know, th throughout, Throughout my times with my relationship, a good a good woman does make a bet a, be a man better. I see really close friends like Carla, mm -hmm. Jen Palma, a lot of these strong women who are you know in a great relationship, uh, and 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 they're career minded, and and I can see that they're the the better half. You know, the, both of them are the better half of each other, um, and I see that women can make a, be a man better, or, or, or vice versa, a man can make a woman better. But I feel like it's it's innate in the woman, right? To be the nurturer, the nurturing, or the, the person that holds the, you know, the, the organization of, you know, of, of the relationship. So I believe in it. A good one makes a man better. Yeah. But this makes me, this makes me wonder too. Okay. So let's, let's dig a little bit deeper. So if a woman makes a man better and the, so what are the, what are the signs that a woman would give a guy to let him know that she she does she does like him, but he's technically in the friend zone. Uh, I think he's in forbidden territory, sir. How does he get out of that situation? How does he get out of the friend zone? I mean, she a woman he makes a man on the table. to a certain extent. I mean, to put on the counter, mm. right in front of, him, next to the plate. Put it in the counter. <laughs> what? Is that what you did? Is that what you do? Oh, what? Oh, okay. 
You put it on the counter. Let's go, man. Be some exposure, young man. <laughs> you were like sausage on the guy. You didn't sit on my lap talking about the first thing you <laughs> like, Oh, your friend gave you a bad time. Okay. <laughs> wow, what's in that fruit you were? I don't know. Are you, are you being for real? Is that, is that what you did? I <laughs> <laughs> was like wondering if it works. Uh, well, well, he likes ass and shit. <laughs> All right. All right, so do we. So do we do we kind of agree a good woman makes a, a better man? Um, it, well, I would say uh, no. In the average, no. I'll say maybe twenty percent, maybe twenty percent impact. Eighty percent, mm. I think men probably more than likely wouldn't change because if they not what if they not ready to change, they're not going to change. And as we've seen a lot of good women mess around with <laughs> other men, yeah. That's not working. Y'all laughing too hard over there. What's happening? Well, now I told him, I said, you can't put it on the table if you hung like a parakeet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody Damn. making fart noises. <laughs> oh, shit, no. A parakeet. Holy shit. <laughs> like Amber Rose's uh, ponytail. Is that Amber Rose's ponytail? That is jacked up. All right. Hey, you know, we haven't done this in a while, but uh, remember podcast, the pod decks. Let's do uh, I'd rather. Stand by. <laughs> this episode is powered by pod decks. Pod decks are unique interview questions and episode starting prompts in the palm of your hand. So whether you're a new podcaster or existing broadcaster looking to grow your audience and have more meaningful conversations, you're going to want to check out pod decks. Now, if you want to get 10% off your order right now, you can go to poddex.com and type in coupon code. What's the code? Yes, that's the code. Check out poddex.com. Take your podcast to the next level. All right, today's pod decks. Category is would you rather? Would you rather have earwax as big as cornflakes or boogers as big as Cheerios? What? How do you equate those two things to food? <laughs> Pretty gross. That's would you rather have earwax as big as cornflakes or boogers as big as Cheerios? Now, considering oh. time frame is not a factor, if it's a one time thing, I'll just rather have the booger and call it a day. I'd rather take the earwax. I just wear some earmuffs. <laughs> Booger, you can't cover your face up. Not all, yeah. Well, you, know, you can wear a mask. My uh, my sister is a nurse, and she would clean. She cleans ears like all day at her work. She oh, comes to her family, and she does that. So I'd rather this? have I'd rather have the cornflakes in my ear so she can dig it out. Ugh. Yeah, you can't. I can't see it, so I don't care if it's sticking out or not. So divine eye, aka Booger Presley. <laughs> All right. Would you rather eat Tootsie Pops or Jolly Ranchers? Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Rancher. Jolly you can put Jolly, Jolly, you can put Jolly Rancher in a in vodka. vodka. Oh, yeah, you can. You can. All right. Uh, would you rather have frostbite on your nose or your toes? Toes. 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 But you yeah. can amputate them and just wear shoes. Can't wear no sandals like Jesus. Yep. Would you rather have hair down to your ankles or totally bald? Bald. 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 That's too much hair. I mean, I like hair. I mean, I don't have any hair now, but yeah. <laughs> Would you rather give up donuts or pizza forever? Donuts. Pizza. Hold up. Oh, forever. Yeah, I'll have to. Well, you can make. All right, whatever. I'll stick with my original answer. <laughs> Divine says boogers are too salty. Ew. <laughs> Emotional, damn it. I've <laughs> never. Have you ever ate your boogers? Come on, let's be honest here. No. <laughs> Not on purpose? No. Right. I mean, you kind of do when you like 
like if you had like a really nasty like cold or something like that yeah and, and ew, i don't even want to think about it but yeah I'm, I'm not not like go like this and <laughs> like really just stick it in your mouth i've seen little kids do that you like bro i've is- seen grown men do that mm. Do you you pick do you pick the booger and roll it or you just pick it and throw it away? Oh, I mean, is this one of the questions on here? Or are you just diving in? <laughs> I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> that's, I, I, that's, what that's what Floyd probably did. Roll it. What is, so what do roll you do? It, roll it, roll it, roll it and throw it. What do you do? <laughs> or roll it and put a napkin. Yeah, I get the napkin first and deal. Yeah. With or just do the snot rocket. <laughs> If I'm running, if I'm running, yeah, I do a snap rocket. Like I did that when I'm biking too. That's nasty. Oh, a qu- real quick funny story. I was working at a, a mental hospital in Georgia, and one of the uh, the patients that was in there, he was talking to me. But across from us, sitting across from us in the day room, was a guy that was digging up his nose. So he was talking to me, and then looked back at the guy and just kept talking, and looked at the guy again. And he saw the guy got the booger out of his nose, and he just stopped talking to me and looked at the dude. He was like, so now what you gonna do with it? <laughs> Vine says index finger pick and roll because he can't put it on those chairs, those are community chairs. Right? Uh, he got up and walked in his room, so he probably he, hit it underneath his pillow or something. For the, he did, for the yeah. I don't know. all guy. right. Would, would you rather be close friends with Snoop Dogg or Dr. Dre? Snoop, definitely, Snoop. Uh, yeah, Snoop, because he already beat the game of life, he's just playing extras, man. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I heard Snoop Dogg's a dick in person, actually. Huh? He's a businessman. Yeah, I think so. Um, would you rather sleep a sleepwalk for a year or be in a coma for a month? Ooh. A coma for a month? A coma for a month. Yeah, a coma for a month. Because you come on. I, I like to sleep, though. Yeah, because you sleepwalk, man. You can get hurt many times. You can lose a nail. You can lose a foot. Said Dre. Mess around, fall off or something. Then you in the Then you got the best of both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> both of them. Uh, all, all both of them. <laughs> uh, would you rather be kicked in the head by mule or hit in the head by foul ball at a baseball game? Damn. Damn. Foul, foul ball. ball. Yeah. At least it's starting to decrease in speed. That mule kick. You like on the color purple? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> she dunk it. <laughs> Would you rather sing with Bruno Mars or Prince? Prince. Ooh. Prince. Prince. Prince gonna tell me how bad I would. Yeah. Prince, Prince, is, Prince is the only guy you think. All that shade. Yeah, Prince is the only guy you think twice about your sexuality. Like this motherfucker is like a that. deer. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. What? Yeah. Whoa. Prince is Prince, man. Now I'm just being a little late, but I want. You think Prince is pretty? Is that what you're trying to say? You get that doughy eyes, you know? The no, doe, no. the deer eyes, the deer eyes, you know? No. Prince. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, what do you think about uh, Anthony? You feeling the same way, Floyd? Like no. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional, damn it. All right. A <laughs> couple more here. Would you rather have a best friend who is a genius or a billionaire? Billionaire. Billionaire. Because mm. geniuses are assholes. Because then they know more than I do. And the fuck is that? You know. I might say yeah. I am not an asshole. And I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no billionaire. Oh. Yeah. Um. Probably. probably That's good. You could. You could be a genius and broke as a joke. But you think about it. Uh, Einstein couldn't tie his own shoes. So common sense ain't common either. So. I'll go with, I'll go with, I'll follow the money trail. Get some financial advice for real. Yes, sir. Yep. All right. Would you rather feel haunted or cursed? Ooh. I'd rather be cursed. Would you, would you rather feel haunted or cursed? So haunted would be like you feel the spirits. Curse means someone gave you some juju. I'll take the curse. Gave you the spirits. Like, like you know, someone hex try to hex you. I can uh, control. I'm about to, about to walk around some sage. Yeah, I'm but you know what else has sage in it? Shash. Shash. 
shit. He's going to be talking about <laughs> Sasha for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you want to... All right, last one. Like, Would you rather have all mm-hmm. your teeth fall out at once <laughs> or all your hair? Did you see what he just did? Oh, what was he? Oh. Let me see it again. Oh. I didn't see it. <laughs> Are you showing the size of your thing? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say it was like... <laughs> Put it on the table. Put it on the table. <laughs> it's like on anchor, what was it, Anchorman? Don't pretend yeah. like you're not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Again, would you rather have all your teeth fall out or at once or all your hair? Hair. 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 Yeah. Hair's expensive. Fuck yeah. Teeth is, you need your teeth, man. You need to eat. Yeah, you you got to keep that grill tight, man. Get the grill, you got to look good. Mm-hmm. I mean, might Hair. Y'all. I mean, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least don't bite. No. Anthony just screwing me up. Like put him on. Put him on a what? Put him on the on, on the, the stool. Put, put him on the table. <laughs> <laughs> put the eggplant on the table. He said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people got it like that. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Who comes? <laughs> yeah. I can knock on it. <laughs> I don't know about this. Right on down the table, like it's a placemat. <laughs> so you <utensil>. can. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Highway 54, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, this is the last Sunday of the month. We will see you guys in August. D3, Carla. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Anthony, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. See ya. (laughs) We hope you enjoyed the show today. Do us a favor and click on the like button or share our podcast. Thanks for listening. Till next time, we are Highway 54.